Let's start with the differences that can be found in every moment. In Royal there are new chats where you can invite someone to the Penguin Sniper. All I catch his dialogue at the subway station now are dubbed. Good morning. In Royal there are more scenes where someone reaches you to go to school together. In the notebooks now there are highlighted parts. In the loaded screen with the metro, the people's silhouettes are smaller, you can see the bars with handles at the top, there are new windows in the background and for several places, for example the park, you can see a landscape. In Royal you can hang out with Caroline and Justine to know them better and gain some skill cards. Hiruta's question about shaved eyes has been removed. In size flashback the plates have a different design and the objects on the shelves have been changed to be the same as in another scene. In fact in Persona 5 there is a discrepancy between the two scenes. In Royal Morgana's dialogues linked to the story's chat are dubbed. In the lonely screen with Shibuya, the people's silhouette on the street have been moved farther in the background and the structures at the center have been changed. The trees and the bushes have been redesigned. In Leblanc's kitchen there's a new fan and the wooden board near the fridge have been moved and shorted. During the scenes linked to the story with the main focus the TV, some images have been changed. In Royal there are more scenes related to the story dubbed. For example, when you visit Sojiro's house. <sighs> Before sending the calling card. And during some palace puzzles. In some scenes in Royal, Morgana's back part is Iger, while in others it's the same as in Persona 5. In the loading screen at the start of a new day there are new animations, for example for sunny day or for starry night. During the chat with Alibaba, the student in the first row has a different pose. In Persona 5 it's possible to lose some mementos requests if you don't read Mishima's messages connect to them. In Royal, these messages are read by the game, so you won't lose them. During the dialogues about the calling card, there are some snacks on the table. In Royal, some confidence invitations have been removed or moved to a different day. It's possible to receive new ones, for example, those of Akechi, and some have been redone. Like the invitation from Mishima the Planetarium. Now there's even Makoto, and she's the one to invite you. Now we'll talk about the story differences. On this day you won't be able to do an activity during the afternoon as in Persona 5 because there are two new scenes, one with Makoto where you talk about Maruki's counseling and the second one with Akechi and Kasumi and it's about the fact that she became the club's representative. After the exam there's a new scene where Makoto meets Maruki. In the morning there's a new dialogue with Ryuji about the summer festival. In Persona 5 after the final exam it's possible to do some activities, while in Royal you need to go to sleep. When you're going to bed Ryuji calls you to invite you to a summer festival, while in Persona 5 you receive a normal confidence invitation. In the afternoon there are new scenes, one at the summer festival with Ryuji and Yusuke and the other one at the dinner with Kazumi. At the end of the day there are three new chats, one with Mishima, one with Kazumi and the last one is a group chat with a picture. All three are linked to the summer festival, while in Persona 5 you receive some messages about the firework festival. In Royal, this chat has been moved to the next day and there's even a new comment from Sojiro. In the loading screen after the metro, you can find some people with a yukata. At the end of the day, there's a new chat with a picture. In the evening, there's a new chat with the group about Futaba. In Royal, the dialogue part where Akechi says he's going to teach you a new skill has been removed and your relation with him doesn't rank up. 
in Persona 5 in the afternoon, Morgana forces you to go to the hideout. Let's start with the last section, the palace differences. In Persona 5 you can use the slide even the first time you reach the palace, but in Royal you can only examine the landscape. In Persona 5 it's possible to find Anubis while fighting against a normal shadow, in Royal only when dealing with a red shadow. In the palace now there are more decorations and columns, and the letters are even marked on the minimap. Some shadows in the palace have been removed or replaced by a red one. The reward screen has been improved with an upside down effect. In the infiltration log the voice first, second and third are written in a different way in Royal. In the village in Persona 5 a building and a wall near slope aren't marked on the minimap. These things have been fixed in Royal. The mini boss is no longer weak to guns attacks and skills. In the underground cavern some sarcophagi have been removed, but, at the same time, others have been added in different positions. There are two new grappling hook spots, one to reach the third floor and the other one to reach a treasure chest. In Persona 5, to reach this treasure chest, you need to go through a duct that have been removed in Royal. On the map there are four layers to represent each floor, while in Persona 5 only two layers. Some low walls have been removed to adjust the cavern to the changes with the sarcophagi. The underground passage in Royal is called the Underground Corridor. The sarcophagi behind the first mini boss are marked on the minimap. Near the ballista, some wooden boards, a platform, and a structure have been added. The platform on the third floor has been blocked so that you can reach the button as in Persona 5 but you need to get on the new structure with the grappling hook and press it. The shots while opening the door and after are different. In the chamber of sarcophagi there are two new platforms that allow you to use the grappling hook to reach the third floor. There's a new sound effect every time you open a door in the great corridor. In the Chamber of Rejection, the corridor has been changed, now it's straight and without a door in the middle. There's a new trap while you try to reach Futaba. Behind the button there are some spears to block you to return back without the Anubis sphere. And during the cutscene now the shot is on the trap that have been deactivated. In Royal this part of the chamber has been changed to a simple puzzle to reach the Anubis statue. You need to use the grappling hook and open the door with the button. There's a new trap close to the statue and the secondary rooms have minor changes. While in Persona 5 it's a linear part and you simply need to follow the path. Near the treasure chest, before the mural puzzle, there's a new room for a wheel seed. In the chamber of guilt on the minimap the sarcophagi are marked. After you complete the blue bike puzzle in Royal, you activate the sphere strap. While in Persona 5, it opens the door in the chamber, and in the next section, you can touch the slate to activate the red bike puzzle, and when you solve it, you can interact with the sphere strap. To open the same door in Royal, you need to resolve the red bike puzzle that you can activate by touching the slate, findable up a new platform reachable thanks to the spheres. In the room where you find the slate in Persona 5, there's the second wheel seed. In the chamber of sanctuary, there's a new safe room after you pass through the duct. The digital floor is marked on the minimap and has a new sound effect when it's creating. In Royal, there's a wooden board that blocks the passage to the second Anubis statue, and to proceed, you need to use the grappling hook to reach the new platforms floating in the air, while in Persona 5, you can just jump on the statue and proceed to the next room. In this part, you can even find the third wheel seed reachable with the grappling hook. In the last part, there are new structures, and some have been modified. On the minimap, the elevator is marked in a different way. In Royal there's a new platform reachable with the first stairs of the zone, where you can find a shortcut for the boss. In Persona 5 these stairs are connected to the platform below the new one. In the fight against the boss the gun's damage has been increased. 
Rapid Ascension attacks the next turn, while in Persona 5 after 3 turns. The second part of the boss fight have been redone to make Futaba more important. There are new scenes with her as the focus, new dialogues and a new feature where you can respond to the boss and with the right answers Futaba will protect the group from an attack while damaging the boss. Except at the start of the fight where you can't respond to the boss but she will protect you anyway. The only downside is the fact that after you use the ballista and the boss recovers herself, you need to wait some turns to use another one, while in Persona 5 you can use the ballista again right away. When you defeat the boss there's a different final scene before firing with your gun. That's all, thanks for watching!